டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ எம் டாக்டர் கே கண்ணன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் அஞ்சலி அம்மாள் மகாலிங்கம் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் கோயில் விண்ணி ஐ எம் ஹாப்பி டு மீட் டு அகைன் இந்த வீடியோ லெக்சர் திஸ் இஸ் ரெஃப்ரிஜிரேஷன் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் தி ரெஃப்ரிஜிரேஷன் பார்ட் டு ஃபோர் ஸோ வி டேக் ஃபியூ ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி அண்ணா யூனிவர்சிட்டி கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் அண்ட் வி சால்வ் தி ப்ராப்ளம் எக்ஸாம்பிள் நம்பர் தேர்ட்டீன் திஸ் இஸ் ஃப்ரம் மே டூ தௌசண்ட் நைன்டீன் கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் 28 tons of ice from and at 0 degree celsius is produced per day in an ammonia refrigerator the temperature range in the compressor is 25 degree celsius and minus 15 degree celsius the vapor is dry and saturated at the end of the compression and the expansion valve is used assume a cop of 62 percentage of theoretical calculate the power required to drive the compressor latent heat of ice equal to 335 kJ per kg and the property of the refrigerant ammonia refrigerant it is given so 25 degree celsius all the values are given enthalpy and entropy values are given so given data so the mass of ice produced 28 tons for 28 hours 24 hours so the temperature t1 higher temperature is 25 degree celsius which is 298 kelvin the lower temperature or the evaporated temperature is minus 15 degree celsius which is 258 kelvin and latent heat of ice equal to 335 kJ per kg so the theoretical cop so cop equal to t2 by t t1 minus t2 t2 is the temperature of the evaporator t1 is the temperature of the condenser so high you can remember t1 is higher temperature t2 is the lower temperature so minus 15 plus 273 divided by 25 plus 273 minus of minus 15 plus 273 equal to 6.45 so the cop theoretical cop or carnot cop equal to 6.45 the actual cop is 62 percentage of theoretical value so 0.62 to the theoretical cop equal to 0.62 into 6.45 equal to 4 so the actual cop of the machine refrigerator is 4 so this is the thermodynamic cycle refrigeration cycle for the uh, uh, present situation at the end of the it is given in the problem it is the vapor is dry saturated at the end of the compression so this is the point 3 end of the compression so 1 to 2 is the evaporator 2 to 3 is the compressor 3 to 4 in the condenser 4 to 1 in the expansion valve this is temperature entropy diagram and corresponding pressure enthalpy diagram so 1 to 2 in the evaporator 2 to 3 is the compressor entry of the compressor is 2 exit of the compressor is 3 at the outlet of the compressor the point 3 is in dry saturated vapor line so this is vap saturated vapor line this is saturated liquid line similarly in the ph diagram the specific enthalpy of refrigerant at the entry of the evaporator so h1 so h1 equal to h4 because the expansion process the enthalpy remains constant h1 equal to h4 so this point 4 is saturated liquid line it is on the saturated liquid line equal to hf4 so from the property table hcf4 that is enthalpy of liquid at the temperature t4 equal, equal to 25 degree celsius is 100.4 kJ per kg then specific enthalpy of refrigerant at the exit of the compressor h3 so the h3 is the exit of the compressor so this is the point 3 is on the vapor line saturated vapor line h3 equal to hg3 which is equal to 1319.22 kJ per kg now to find the dryness fraction of the refrigerant at point 2 so here we have to calculate the enthalpy so to we should know we should know the dryness fraction here to find the dryness fraction we use the condition s1 s2 equal to s3 entropy remains constant for isentropic compression so s2 equal to sf2 plus x2 into sg2 minus sf2 equal to sg3 so this is vapor dry saturated vapor sg3 so substituting numerical values minus 2.1338 plus x2 into sg2 is 5.0585 plus minus of this sf2 sf2 is already minus value so 5.05585 plus 2.1338 equal to 4.485 so solving this equation x2 equal to 0.92 then the specific enthalpy of the refrigerant before compression h2 equal to hf2 plus x2 into hfg2 uh, hf hfg2 equal to x2 into hg2 minus hf2 substituting the numerical values h2 equal to minus 54.56 plus 0.92 into 
304.99 plus 54.56 equal to 1196.2 kilojoules per kilogram. Now the refrigeration effect equal to heat extracted from the water to, to form the ice. So this Q equal to mass of the ice into lateral heat of ice. Q equal to 28,000, 28 tons in 24 hours. 28,000 divided by 24 into 3,600. So this will become kilogram per second. Tons per 24 hours becomes kilograms per second into 335 equal to 108.56 kilojoules per kilojoules per second. And now the power of the compressor P equal to Q divided by COP. So Q is the uh, heat extracted from to form the ice divided by COP. So 108.56 divided by 4 equal to 27.14 kilojoules per second or kilowatt. So the answer to the question power required to drive the compressor is 27.14 kilowatt. The next question from May 2018 question paper, uh, this is example number 14. A Freon 12 vapor compression refrigeration system has a condensing temperature of 50 degrees Celsius and evaporating temperature of 0 degrees Celsius. The refrigeration capacity is 7 tons. The liquid leaving the condenser is saturated liquid and the compression is isentropic. Liquid leaving the condenser is saturated liquid and the compression is isentropic. Determine the refrigerant flow rate and the power required to run the compressor. The heat rejected in the plant and the COP of the system. So, using the properties of Freon 12 as listed in the table. So, the table properties of the Freon is given here. So, 50 degrees Celsius, all the property enthalpy and entropy given, 0 degrees Celsius, properties are given. Now, the given data T1 equal to 50 degrees Celsius, evaporate temperature is, sorry, condenser temperature is 50 degrees Celsius, which is 323 Kelvin. T2 equal to 0 degree Celsius, evaporate temperature is 0 degree Celsius, which is 273 Kelvin and refrigeration effect equal to 7 ton. So, coefficient of performance COP equal to T2 by T1 minus T2. So, the evaporated temperature divided by the temperature difference, 273 divided by 323 minus 273 equal to 5.46. Now, this is the refrigeration cycle for the given situation. So, this is called as ideal cycle or simple vapor compression cycle. Uh, the identification is end of the compression it is dry saturated vapor end of the condensation it is saturated liquid that is the condition for the simple or ideal vapor compression cycle the specific enthalpy of the refrigerant at the entry of the evaporator so h1 equal to h4 equal to hf4 so h1 equal to h4 h4 equal to hf4 this is saturated liquid for the temperature t4 equal to 50 degree celsius which is 84.868 kilojoules per kilogram Specific enthalpy of refrigerant at the exit of the compressor H3 equal to HG3. So, this is saturated vapor 206.298 kilojoules per kilogram. So, to find the dryness fraction of the refrigerant at the point 0.2, that is entry of the compressor. So, we have to use the constant entropy S2 equal to S3, isentropic compression S2 equal to S3, S2 equal to SF2 plus X2 into SG2 minus SF2, this is equal to SG3. So, SG3, this is saturated vapor, it is wet vapor. So, substituting numerical values 0 0.1418 plus X2 into 0 0.696 minus 0 0.1418 equal to 0 0.6792. So, solving this equation, X2 equal to 0 0.97. So, here the dryness fraction equal to 0 0.97. Then we calculate the specific enthalpy of the refrigerant before compression. H2 equal to HF2 plus X2 into HG2 minus HF2. So, substituting numerical values, this is H2 equal to 36.022 plus 0 0.97 into 187.397 minus 36.022 equal to 182.87 kilojoules per kilogram. The refrigeration effect Q equal to 7, 7 into 3.5, 7 ton of refrigeration, 1 ton of refrigeration equal to 3.5 kilojoules per second. So, 7 into 3.5 equal to 24.5 kilojoules per second. The mass of the refrigerant, M equal to the uh, amount of heat extracted, that is ref refrigeration effect divided by the H2 minus H1. So, 24.5 divided by 182.86 minus 84.868 equal to 0 0.25 kilogram per second. The mass of the refrigerant equal to 0 0.25 kilogram per second. Then power of the compressor P equal to Q divided by COP. Q equal to heat extracted at the refrigeration effect equal 24.5 divided by 5.46 equal to 4.487 kilojoules per second or kilowatt. And the heat rejected in the condenser QR equal to M into mass of the refrigerant into H3 minus H4. 
zero point two five to two hundred six point two nine eight minus eighty four point eight six eight equal to thirty point three six kilojoules per kilogram. Now the answer to the problem. The refrigerant flow rate is 0.25 kg per second. The power required to run the compressor is 4.487 kW. The heat rejected in the plant equal to 30.36 kJ per second and uh, COP equal to 5.46. The next question from November 2021 question paper, example number 15. A cold storage plant is required to store 20 tons of fish. The fish is supplied at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. The specific heat of the fish above the freezing point is 293 kilojoules per kilogram and the specific heat of the fish below the freezing point is 1.26 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. The fish is stored in a cold storage which is maintained at minus 8 degrees Celsius. The freezing point of the fish is minus 4 degrees Celsius. Latent heat of fish is 235 kilojoules per kilogram. If the plant requires 75 kilowatt to drive it, assume actual COP of the plant is 0.3 times of Carnot COP. Find the capacity of the plant and uh, calculate the time taken to achieve the cooling. So, mass of the fish equal to 20 tons, T1 equal to 30 degrees Celsius, which is 303 Kelvin, T2 is the evaporator temperature minus 8 degrees Celsius, which is 265 uh, Kelvin, power equal to 75 kilowatt. Then, coefficient of performance, COP equal to T2 by T1 minus T2. So, 265 divided by 303 minus 0 0.265 265 equal to 6.97. The heat removed from the fish, so the fish is cooled from 30 degrees Celsius to minus 8 degrees Celsius. So how there are three levels of heating, mass into heat removed before freezing. So from 30 degrees Celsius, the freezing temperature is minus 4 degrees Celsius. So 30 degree to minus 4 degrees Celsius, that is what up to freezing. Then freezing, the process of freezing is latent heat of fish is removed. Then from the Freezing minus 4 degrees Celsius, it is further cooled to minus 8 degrees Celsius. So, substituting Q equal to 20 into 1000 into 2.93 plus 30 minus of minus 4 equal to 30 plus 4 plus latent heat of ice equal to 235 plus 1.26. This is specific heat of before after freezing 1.26 into minus 8 minus of minus 8 equal to minus 8 plus 8. So, calculating the total amount of heat extracted from the fish equal to 6.979 in 10 power 6 kilojoules. Then the actual COP is 0.3 times of 6.97 equal to 2.09. Refrigeration effect Q equal to W into COP which is 75 into 2.09 equal to 156.75 kilojoules per second. Then capacity of the plant equal to the refrigeration effect divided by the ton of refrigeration. So, 156.75 divided by 3.5, 1 ton of refrigeration equal to 3.5 kilojoules per second, so which is 44.78 ton. So, the capacity of the plant equal to 44.78 ton and time taken to achieve the cooling. So, total heat removed from the fish divided by heat removed per second. So, this is 6.79 in 10 power 6 divided by 156.75 equal to 43,317.4 second, which is equal to 12 hours. So, the to achieve the cooling, the capacity is heat removal capacity is 156.75. Total heat removed is 6.7 in 10 power 6 kilojoules. So, time taken equal to 12 hours. So, the answer to the question capacity of the plant equal to 44.78 tons and time taken to achieve the cooling is 12 hours. These are all the answers to the question. We stop here. So, we will meet again in another video lecture. So, we thank you. We meet again in another video lecture to solve few more problems in the recent Anna University question paper in the topic refrigeration. Until then, bye.